Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pine TV. I'm Colleen Malcolm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 14, 2024. Thank you, Kalia. Bonjour, Patriots. Today in Back History Spotlight, we will be spotlighting Jesse Owens. He is a track and field athlete known for his performance at the 1936 Berlin Olympics, where he won four gold medals. Well, as a student in Cleveland High School, his grades were not always the best. This also caused him to miss out in competition. So, he made sure to study hard and raise his grades, allowing him to set records in long jump and track before his last year of high school, which later brought him to the Olympics and a major part of the black history. Now let's go to Mark for today's lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is macaroni and cheese, seasoned breadsticks, seasoned green beans, fresh broccoli, ranch dressing, pineapple tidbits, and nourishes and milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut ring, cinnamon toast crunch, graham crackers, fresh apple, and 100 set apple juice. Students, please keep in mind lunch for the kitchen at any time and to always bring a lunch card. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's head back to Kalia. Thank you, Catherine. That sounds great. Tomorrow is what thy wonder, for it is what I ponder. Tomorrow's activity consists of poetry. I hope all of you write like Shakespeare. And in honor of Valentine's Day, our RPTV crew had put together a broadcast dedicated to Valentine's Day. Let's take a look. Valentine's Day, a traditional holiday celebrated all around the world on February 14th. It's where people show their affection and love with greetings and gifts. Many people celebrate Valentine's Day with a box of chocolates or a card. Here at Rex Pine, students have specific ways in their culture show their appreciation to one another. You may think that Valentine's Day is a silly holiday about hearts and candy, but Valentine's Day is way more than that. It's one of the many holidays that we have in a year we have a chance to show our appreciation to others. Best friends, for once, can use this holiday to show their appreciations. How do you celebrate Valentine's Day with your family? Well, we like, like make cookies together. Have fun and go out. That's what we do. I like to go for a ride with my bicycle with no wheels. I took eggs from my mom. <laughs> because some people like have a hard time, their friends and family, and that a time is for people to be like together and have fun. I give my mom and my dad. As you can see, friendships can come in many ways. It's important to know the similarities and differences of how people celebrate the day. For example, in Japan, they have Valentine's Day and a white day. And here in America, we only have Valentine's Day, but they both portray the same meaning. How do you celebrate Valentine's Day in your family slash country? Uh, so I am Caribbean, and I really love music and dancing, so usually in our culture, we'll celebrate by serenading each other. Why do you think it's important for people to know how other people celebrate Valentine's Day? Uh, because I think differences are beautiful, and it's interesting to know how other people do the same thing that you would do. Ultimately, showing your loved ones and friends that you care for them is always important, and not only just on Valentine's Day. Either way, the holiday is still special in its own way because of its hearts, Cupid, and roses that symbolizes the love and appreciation. So that's pretty cool. Wow, that was amazing. The door contest ends on the 22nd. All you teachers have exactly a week and a day. I believe in all of your best arts. Today is the Valentine's Day dance. I hope you all dressed your best and have fun. Today will be a blast. Tomorrow, 7th and 8th graders will have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. It is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. There is no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. The instructional software is ongoing. K through fifth reward will be a glow in the dark party and six through eighth will be enjoying some good chicken with fries. The challenge ends on March 15th and the reward is only for the challenge completers. Now let's check today's weather with Camila. Thank you, Kulia. Hey Patriots, today's weather is 77 degrees fan night with cloudy skies. It's a good day to look at stars. 
Talking about stars, scientists have discovered a super Earth. This super Earth is 137 light years away from Earth. This planet is 1.5 times the size and orbits faster than ours does. Wow, I wonder what it's like to live in there. Now let's wish our patrons happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Kylie Lopez, Zanilda Mejia Diaz, Chanel Palmer, and Shania Lundy. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Samuel, Miss Manon, Miss Sands, and Miss Pardinez for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was what starts with an E and only has one letter. The correct answer was an envelope. Today's daily challenge is Daily Challenge. The pirate needs help. Can you find the right lock? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have an amazing day!